Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be bringing you Metafo Yang Zings. Um, really wishing to take this to a major tournament, although I have had a few slight problems with it. You do end up with a few bricky hands, so any ideas of helping me out to unbrick them, put them in the comments below. Other than that, I'll get into the list and we'll see what you think. First card we play is 3GR2. Um, you really want to see him first turn by popping a monster with a Metafo card, activating effect, bringing out Zafranu and Suwani or another Yang Zing going into Baxi. Play 3 Chai Wen. Uh, you want to ditch him off Giatu's effect when you activate it. If not him, you want to ditch off uh, Bayan. Other than that, run him at 3. 3 Zephranu. Um, he searches for all your Yang Zing spell and trap cards. Uh, so your strike is uh, Divine Strike searchable, your paths are searchable, and also your creation. Three Sawani, um, basically is a little bit of a beater. Plus the 500 bonus on any of your X Y uh, Synchro monsters are really really good. Three Bayern, um, you basically just abuse the fact of him and Chai Wen to get into Herald. Uh, put Herald in defense mode. Can't be destroyed by battle, so they've got to try and get rid of him with a card effect. And then if they get rid of him with a card effect, you basically just ditch Herald, negate the card effect, and keep playing. Two Bixie, don't use him too much. His unaffected by trap effects is really good though. So, you know, possibility of running him at three. I'd rather just keep him at two. The one Pulau. Uh, Pulau's not too useful. He is good in some situations but he's just the extra name the one Zephraxi um, I really don't use him too much I don't have a crystal wing or an Ultimaya Tolkien so he's probably not too useful in this build but I still like him for the Metafo cards I run the three Volflame. Um, I'll tell you why later I'm running three Volflame. Basically, he's just one of the metaphors that I want to run. Two Gold Driver. And two Slivered. That's it for the metaphor monsters. Uh, metaphor Traps. I run two Combination. One counter and the one fusion. I would run the third combination, but I don't like seeing it in hand, so this card's the reason why I only run the Volflame and I don't run the other Metapho monster, that's the eight scale. Um, Volflame is searchable by Summoner's Art. So you pick up this without a Metapho monster, you find it with this anyway, or you find your Volflame. I won the one Divine Strike, the one Creation. Um, creation's not too useful, I do side it out 90% of the time when I'm person people. It's just I'd rather have it in deck first game than not have it at all. I run the two Path. I'm thinking about bumping this up to three. I have used GR2's effect to ditch it to Grave a couple times. Um, late game, if I don't see it, I can't recycle my monsters, so... You know, Baxi usually just floats in the graveyard and I can't use him again. Um, what do we got? A Solemn, a Bottomless, and two MSTs. Uh, I'd rather play MSTs over Twin Twister due to Void Ogre. If I've got Twin Twister and I've kept a card in hand, Void Ogre's not going to negate a spell or trap for me. So, I'd rather Twin Twisters overall. The last card on the list is the one Soul Charge. If 
if I can get my plays off first turn, get into Hope Harbinger, Titanic, a Void Ogre, and a Herald of Arclight, I activate this, I can potentially bring out another Synchro monster quite easily. For the Synchros, I play the one Herald of Arclight, the one Speedroid, one Meta Horus. Um, these are all my low end Synchros. I have had to get into Meta Horus a few times just for the simple fact that I've had two GR2s on field and a Sawani. So I've had to have a level 6 in my extra deck so I can get into a Baxi still. Um, Herald's basically just there for negation on first turn if you can get the big field out. And this guy here, he's just there to poke for game because he does double attacks. Uh, for the level 7s now, the one clear wing, one media burst, one Yazi. Um, they're pretty straightforward. Clear wing's probably not a necessity, but these two you sort of must play. I just have him for a bit of tech. For the level 8s, run the one Ignista, the one Crimson Blader, one Void Ogre, and two Baxi. I was running Baxi at 3, but I ended up running out of space in my extra deck for a lot of things. Because uh, I still need to make room for uh, Nirvana High Paladin. Um, Baxi's effect is absolutely hilarious, because it doesn't specify that you can only bring back a Yang Zing monster. So you can actually bring back Herald of Arclight, give you that free negation again. Funny as. That's it for the level 8s. Uh, I only run the one level 9. Good old Chow Fang. Um, Chow Fang's really useful. If you know what you're versing against or second game, if you can bring that out and negate all their effects before they even start playing their turn, uh, they basically just scoop because they can't play at all. The XYZs I'm running. One Photon Strike. One Titanic. Um, Photon Strike Bounds was a last minute place in. He negates effects, uh, effects, so quite useful if you use him mid game after your opponent's like gone through a few of your resources but you still got your scales up. You bring back two Zephranus, um, search for your Yang Zing cards, put him on board, your opponent's next turn they activate an effect, you negate it, they take a thousand damage pretty good and Titanic you basically just have to play him too good last one on the list is one Metaphos Fusion you can play anyone you want I just like this guy because he does double piercing damage he's a little bit harder to get out than the other Metapho cards uh, fusion cards he requires two Metapho monsters I'm pretty sure the other ones only require one and another monster or something along them lines if you have any ideas on how I could fix this deck, uh, drop me in, drop me in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.